Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. I'm your host, VGM Corin, and oh god, oh god, we're already getting started. Straga, unlike Tiamat, is not one for talking. In fact, she's more one for just screaming at you angrily. Uh, this is why I stopped the last video where I did, because oh god, she's firing her laser. This is why I, ooh, I stopped the last video where I did, because, um, well, it was already getting late, I didn't want to fight her, and, well, oh god. Oh, I forgot some of the things about this fight. Alright, so she's going to shoot her giant laser at you, which, it will do a lot of damage if it hits you. Don't let it hit you. So, what you're going to want to do is, um not let her hit you with it. I know, I'm so... I, I am the best at giving advice. Come on, why is this crystal not breaking? This ki crystal kind of needs to break for us to be able to do what we need to do. Because, it, let's see, if you go up here to Straga, she'll do that. She just will have nothing of that. So let's try and break this crystal again. There we go. So... The laser is blocked by the ice crystals, but, and this is a rather big butt, big stinky hairy butt, the ice crystals block the laser from hurting you. And they also heat up, which prevents them getting, from getting destroyed when you use your um, attacks on them. So what that means is that once you finally get down to like two crystals, like how I am now, you need to... Uh, try and stay, keep her off of uh, focusing on those lasers. Preferably not by, you know, smashing your body. So, now I'm kind of in a pickle because I left two of the worst crystals to break until last. So, oh, she got on the crystal. I'm the worst. The laser doesn't actually hurt that bad, which is kind of funny. Alright, come on. You know you want to die. You know you're just a big crystal that wants to die. Ah, it doesn't want to die. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had so much trouble trouble breaking all these crystals. Oh, man. Drag the object. Uh, if you haven't noticed, the drag object function is a little, little finicky. Sometimes it just doesn't want to drag. I mean, sometimes I don't want to drag things, like a giant train cart by myself, so who can really blame them? Don't you do it! Okay. Did that... Okay, no, it did. Alright, so now that all the crystals are broken, and she has nothing to protect her from this, you punch the card straight into her legs. Yes, that is how you damage Straya, is you punch a cart straight into her. And, well, after you do it once, you should probably do it again. Because, well, she's just gonna keep... Making sure that, oh god, the entire place is caving in. Oh, she finally went down. This is good, because once she's down, you need to punch her ice crystal chest. Hey. Yes. Her ice crystal chest is now revealed, and that means we can see her giant glowing red weak spot. Now, this is probably the single worst boss attack in the game. Hey, I'm gonna summon a whole bunch of guys that you can grab and kill for HP. That, that'll show you. Who's the man? Use the man. I, I do not like this Dragon Boss fight. I think it's interesting with having to uh, slam the rail car into her, but it's, it's a little weird. It's also very easy to cheese. I will not be cheesing it, but basically what you would do is you would feel, fill your chaos meter before this fight started. And then, you, the moment that you hit her a second time with this cart, you would activate it and beat her up with it, and it usually would kill her instantly. Alright, so she's knocked out away, and she's gonna do her whole, I'm gonna knock the lag tight down on you. Ha! I remembered! I learned! <laughs> That's what I thought it was, but, you know. You know. Are you done? No? Okay, just let me know when you're done having your tantr temper tantrum. That way you fall down and hurt yourself. Alright, so... 
She, now we need to punch her again with the card. It is two hits. You have to knock her down once so she'll do her select, I think. And then you have to knock her down again for all the other reasons. So as you can see, we are hitting her gooey center here. And I just charged up my chaos meter, but like I said, I don't really want to use that in a boss fight. Because that's not that fun. Like, I don't know, if I get low I'll start using it, but otherwise I'm gonna try and avoid doing that in this boss at least, because I don't think there's any real need to use it on Straga. Uh, the next, uh, one of the next big bosses I feel is kind of impossible without it, but we'll get there when we get there. And so I've already hit her once with the cart, and what that means is I only need to hit her one more time in order to, um, get her to fall down on the ground. I'm gonna try and hit her while all this stuff is falling. I don't know if... Oh, you can actually do that. Wow, I wasted a whole lot of your time. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, Straga is an interesting one. She has the least personality of any of the... Sorry, I just can't get over how ridiculous that cutscene is. That was just hilarious. More beating her up with a, a, a empty train cart. What? <laughs> What's that about? Anyways, we have the second heart of the chosen, uh, Stragus Heart. Two down, two to go. You might make it to the tower after all. Then the real fun begins. Now. Welcome back, horseman. You could have knocked, but I suppose that isn't your way, is it? Why are you here? Strange question, seeing as how you're the one broke into my house. You weren't always the Black Hammer. You huddle in exile, a hermit among tombstones. Why? What role did you play in this whole thing? Horseman, I've got something for you. A fair bit of work, but uh, it's a bit dainty for me. It'll serve you better. You didn't answer my question, old one. Maybe I like the scenery, was it to you? You asked for my help and I gave it. You go on being ungrateful, and I'm liable to get upset. Do I look like I'm afraid of death, boy? It's not death you should fear. Moore really just is the most ungrateful person in the world, isn't he? He's just like, I'm gonna throw your giant hammer through your door so it's gone, and then I'm gonna point the gun you just made for me at you. Anyways, this is Mercy! Uh, it's a big handgun. Yep, that that's what it is. That's what it does. <laughs> uh, you can open these doors by yourself now, now that you have the power fist. It does double as the whole Legend of Zelda does. You can open things that were too heavy for you before. Uh, thing. And I want to grab that bird. I can't grab it. Can't punch it. I will punch a bird. That is my new life goal. Oh, I thought I was going to get to solve all my life goals right then. <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, war 
the war is just kind of mean about all this. He's just like, I... <laughs> I hate everyone. That's how war is. So we're going to go shop at Volgrim's. And he has something to say to us. You've given the Griever something to cry about. Well done. Now then, let's deal. Thanks, Volgrim. That was a nice little Old voice break Volgrim's for you. Got some. Old Volgrim's got something <laughs> new for you. So if you're going to use Mercy, you want to get impact rounds immediately. Because it increases the damage it does, and it's really important if you're going to use it. Uh, if you're not, then, well... Okay. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is where I'm looking for? Let's see, is it that one? No. Nope. My D-pad is going crazy. Is it Meteor Launch? No. Is it Earthbreaker? Yes! It is Earthbreaker. Okay. We're gonna pick up Earthbreaker. And I used Affliction really heavily last time, so we're gonna pick up Blade Geyser level 2. Since that's been working out for us. Okay, that's all our souls. And now that we have a Heart of the Chosen, and a fist-punching item, and a gun, and better magic, let's go see our old friend Samael and give him a heart. A still beating heart, in fact. Oh, these pathways. I should totally cut this out. But I'm not going to! Why not? Uh, because it's... I don't know. These pathways are kind of interesting, the way they sway. And Volgrim... Like, what happens if you fall here? I don't know. Anyways, they're not that long. Uh, so here we are back at Scalding Gala. Volgrim's gonna fall us out because he's a creepy stalker like that. And as I say that, he doesn't do it, of course. Thanks, Volgrim. Thanks for making me look, like, you know, crazy. Uh, let's test out to see how much damage this gun actually does. So, as you can see... Uh, Mercy? Not a lot of damage. In fact, in the term of damages... There we go, now he's almost dead. Okay. Mercy does not do a lot of damage. Mercy, uh... Mercy is kind of weak in this game. Um, There's no real point to using it a whole lot. Um, It can be useful if you want to, like... If your enemies are engaging on you and you don't really want to run to them and you just want to use uh, Mercy to, uh, while they run at you, that's a fine use. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of reason to do it, and it can't even shoot birds, effectively. <sighs> it's just, it just is a handgun, but it is not a good one. There's Samael, already ready for us. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> You see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, Horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the Horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hellguard worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? Huh. Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon, and he will be punished. Straga is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire, and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worms that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some fool demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport. And they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. 
the demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster, there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the Ashworms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the Old Ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the Old Masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Chronospheres. It won't be much, perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What in this life is certain, Horseman? Other than our word, of course. That has got to be the best way to describe something in the world. Fertile with death and decay. Anyways, we've got Chronomancer now. We can activate uh, Chronospheres, or is that what they're called? I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oops. We can activate those things and um, slow down time, which will let us avoid giant worms. Aw, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and start running towards the third dungeon dungeon because we haven't been at this very long killing the stig or not the stygians um uh oh what was the name of the thing we just fought i said it multiple times while i was here what griever i remember <laughs> oh wow see like i said not a memorable boss fight at all so if you come over here you find some ice crystals conveniently locking your blocking your path and some demons demons that you should send straight into the lava or cut in half or whatever it's up to you just as long as they end up dead with deadness in them okay so let's punch out these crystals and head into the um pathway of the third dungeon this is a bit of an interesting path because well uh, I actually don't remember if it's this one or the next one that gets kind of crazy. Oh, it's our old friend the zombies! Wow, it's been a long time since we saw them. Let's punch them. Oh, I went to show you off, off this new technique. That is our new fist punching technique. Once you have Earthbreaker or whatever it was that I picked up, you saw it earlier. Once you have that, you have everything you need for the fists to make them awesome because that is a giant AoE attack, it does the most damage of the fists, and that's really what you should be using if you're going to fight with it. Okay, so that's a Chrono Spear. I will show you how to use that momentarily, but there are bats currently trying to eat me, and I don't, I don't want that. So, I'm going to show this off, because, also, secret circle. Okay, so if you turn this thing normally, what happens? Well, that opens, and then it closes. So, I mean, what what's an intrepid adventurer like War supposed to do? Well, he's supposed to grab the Chronos Spear with the um, boomerang crossblade and open the gate while in slow time to run through it. This mechanic will become oh god the core of the uh, puzzles in the next area, which I... The next dungeon is very interesting, because I'll tell you when we get there, because it it will surprise you. And I'm kind of excited for you to see that, but I don't think we'll get there today. You know, normal things like killing demons and making sure they don't explode on top of us take precedence. Ooh, a treasure chest. Uh... You guys should count all the treasure chests that I, like, walk straight past without even, like, mentioning, and tell me how many I miss. So, comment below, how much have I missed already? <laughs> uh, for people wondering, being like, hey, you have a whole bunch of items, you could go backtrack! Yes, yes I could. But there is a point in this game where there's some mandatory backtracking. Um, oh hey, I was about to walk past this. I thought there might be something there, though. There's a point in the game where there's some mandatory backtracking, and I kind of want to wait to show, like, a whole bunch of stuff until, well, I'm going back and opening items up anyway. 
Uh, comment below if you would rather see, and here we are at the dry road, by the way. The pathway- OH NO! DEMON BAT! Wait. Wait, that's- that's not different at all. They were already demon bats. Well, anyways, these bats are more demonic than their bat brethren, but that just means they can shoot lasers out of their sockets. The dry road is a sand-covered... yeah, it's sand, maybe. <laughs> a sand-covered area. And there's something... uh-oh, what have I done? Alright, so we have a new enemy type that I should discuss instead of the dry road and how they're bats, they're demon bats, but it doesn't make sense because they were already demon bats. These, not these, these <laughs> are uh, dark fallen angels. These, This is what happens when an angel goes bad, I guess. I don't know, where, where did he go? There he is. Let's shoot him. Oh wait, we don't have the crossblade equipped. Or not the crossblade. We do have the crossblade equipped, but we don't have mercy equipped. And I want to get that guy before he gets up. Okay, good. Just like right... These guys, they're no different than regular angels. Angels. They are basically a pallet swap. And that's... that's a glowy. Oh, wonder what could be in that glowy. Well, if you want to know, you're going to have to find out later. Where did that other angel... There he is. I guess he just saw his friend and was like, I don't care. I'm done. See ya. That's not very nice at all. Okay, so, as always, just take these guys out however you kind of want to, because they are not any different from the angels you've been fighting all through the game. I They don't have ranged attack. So they're actually kind of worse than the angels that you've been fighting all through the game. Um, but again, they're not difficult. Just kill them with your face. Or with their faces. Or kill them with something. Maybe not a face. Faces aren't the most deadly of all weapons. I saw a chest up here. But you saw it too and you're like, ooh, I get to tell him that he missed it. But no, I was observant that time. Anyways... Since that guy just decided to bugger off, I'm going to leave him alone. I mean, yeah. Okay, look at that. That's a Vulgrim location. This is the trickiest Vulgrim location to find in the game. Because if you aren't willing to throw yourself into the abyss, you might miss it. And then he takes forever to pop up. Get up here. Vulgrim. Vulgrim. There you go. Hi. <laughs> Do you have anything what new? Would you ask? No. Oh, that that was unusual, to say the least. But anyways, we are pretty much done with the dry road. I say pretty much because this is an odd area. I mean, once you get here, you immediately go back into tunnels. Like this one that I'm going to, over here. So, yeah. I don't know what to say about the dry road. Though, I do know this next upcoming area is... Hey, don't shoot your demon stuff at me. I don't like that. This upcoming area is very... different. Um, it's got some frustrating puzzles, but I'll show you that when we get there, as always. Uh... There appears to be something exploding down there. Okay, you, you do that. <laughs> I think I may have just completely ignored Oh, nope, he saw me. Well, in that case, I've been saving this for a little while. Uh, <laughs> this is very much overkill. Oh, I should mention, you can end War's transformation prematurely by activating the same move again. Um, usually your, your chaos energy drains so fast that there's no real point. So here's the puzzle mechanic of this area. Beam me up, Scotty. Whenever you're ready. There you go. So, you have to hit those things to get them to drop their blocks, get on their blocks, and then run away. And of course, as always, way is now open due to our massive and uncontrolled use of explosives. 
And I think that's an empty hallway. Yes, it is. But, unfortunately, if you want to see what's through these tunnels and why these puzzles get a little bit ridiculous, you're going to have to just keep watching, because we've been running for a while now, and, well, if you want to see what happens, I'll have to see you in the next one.